Hi everybody, this is Gary Fong from the WPPI convention in Las Vegas and I'm going to be doing a demonstration of my new light blade product. Now basically we have two different types of diffusers now, well actually three including the puffer. One is the light sphere which is an omnidirectional source of light that basically lights up the entire room equally. For those of you who don't really need to have the system uh, accessories that the light sphere has, like the light sphere has colored gels, different domes, snoots and things like that. Some of you may like the light blade and it has the same mounting system as the new generation 5 light spheres. Basically what I'll do is I'll just throw this on over the flash like that and then I'll just pull it on and once it's on just like any of my other products it's not going to fall off and that's a very important thing for my diffusers is I don't want you to feel like you have to be careful with it so on the new light blade you can just basically feel very sure that it's not going to fall off the um, way it's designed is I wanted to have something that took the actual beam shape of the light coming out of this parabolic reflector and interrupt it just a little bit with having the light go right into the path so you still have light going up to the ceiling and then you also have these little half balls here that pick up the light that's coming through and it disperses it throughout. I can shoot vertical or horizontal without changing the way that the light looks and I'll show you some verticals before and after and uh, if I'm on the ground shooting vertical and I want to shoot up or on a ladder and shooting down I'm still able to send light bounce to the ceiling. Now the difference between this and the light sphere system is that this one is really designed only to use indoors or in a very very close range with uh, outdoor flash fill. It won't like bounce to the ceiling and it won't have that uh, that look. You won't wouldn't be able to put like say amber warming filters and anything like that. Let me just go ahead and do a quick before and after to show you what this does. Okay, so. All right, so right here we have available light, and uh, that's what that looks like. Okay, so my exposure on that is coming in at 1 60th of a second at f1.8. Let's go ahead and do direct flash now. So this is what you would get with direct flash. This is on ETTL mode, and there, there's my direct flash. And now I'm going to go ahead and put on the light blade. So what the light blade does is it directs the power away from the subject direct. And this is actually something you want to do now because the new cameras are so sensitive to light that it's not necessary to have that really harsh parabolic beam aiming at your subject. So what I have now here, and you'll see as the, the flash goes off, takes the light away from the subject away from the lens so we don't have a harsh red eye and we have a very natural beautiful uh, style of light okay let's just do one more looking this way great perfect so this is with the light blade this is direct flash and that's available that direct flash basically looks like that because of the shape of the light now, uh, one thing I want to point out here is, check out her hair. You really can't see anything about it here, and so we know nothing about it. Here we can tell it's uh, reddish color, and um, but it doesn't look really supernatural. This one we've got a nice shine. But look at the flesh tones on this and the catch light in the eyes, the soft shadow underneath the chin, and the availability to see the background behind her. And that's basically the effect of light that you'll get with a light blade. Okay? Thanks.